Hey everybody, Nick here. Welcome back to the channel. Doing another video from the hammock. It's a rainy, kind of chilly day. So, throughout our lives, there's a lot of things that we <laughs> used to think were safe to use, especially way back when. And it was proven that they were very dangerous or stupid or nonsensical. You know, things that we would add to our everyday lives that we thought would help make lives better. And I'm sure there's so many things these days that are deemed quote unquote safe, but are still really dangerous and are legal and, you know, due to money and all that stuff, it stays in the market. I mean, you can look at cigarettes, alcohol you name it a lot of things chemicals in food for example now for those of you who are coffee lovers I'll have one in my list here which I came up with I'll go over a few of them and the first one is how they decaffeinated coffee uh, they used to use a chemical called benzene <laughs> uh, which was used in the decaffeination process Obviously, it's no longer used, at least we think it isn't, because of its uh, carcinogenic properties. <laughs> How crazy is that, man? Like, I think it was up until the turn of the 20th century that they were doing that. I'm not sure. I think that's when it was, or the 20s, or something like that. That's fucked. Imagine you're, like, having a coffee and you're having chemicals with it. Insane. Insane. As I said, there's probably a lot of shit that they still do or still uh, have in certain processes that we don't know about. And we discovered because people get ill and shit. One thing you probably guys didn't know is that meth was used uh, during World War II by the Germans, by the Nazis. Um, there's a some some historians saying that the blitzkrieg was so um you know successful because they were hopped up on the the drug the narcotic uh meth <laughs> and some of them they have accounts of people saying it's not humanly possible that these soldiers could have got to the place that they had to so fast by by you know the ground troops so fast and now we know possibly why um something to jump them up perk them up that's that's unbelievable and of course meth is illegal but so many people using it uh, unfortunately another one is uh lead paint for those of you who are painters artists um i'm not sure if they still have countries that um do use lead paint but it's very dangerous um to breathe that in or even get it on your skin um, because you can get poisoned and die essentially <laughs> obviously there's some loud ass birds um, mercurochrome which is a I think a uh, byproduct of mercury was used as a disinfectant all the way until the, 90, the late 90s if you can believe it um, was banned in the US and several other countries due to its high mercury content and they used to slather this on and it was like like a bright red uh, liquid I don't know if you guys remember that I, I don't think it was ever allowed in Canada I'm not sure but I don't remember using that that's fucking crazy <laughs> uh, another one was like in the 50s people before seatbelts were allowed they'd have like those metal dashboards and no seatbelt and people would drive recklessly uh, do speed you know races uh, especially the teenagers a lot of accidents that's for sure a lot of deaths flipping over the, the windshield and yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you can still still die in a car accident, even with seatbelts, but it definitely has reduced uh, the amount of deaths, that's for sure. Um, 
and that was another thing kind of uh, related to this was letting kids sit in the front seat of the car while you're driving which was insane um i, I don't know <laughs> humans are they learn from you know big mistakes on their own another chemical called c8 and this was used in a lot of the pots and pans like Teflon um, I guess to be anti-stick um, and this is I remember there was a lot of these different uh, things being recalled pots and pans because of the chemicals seeping into the foods that you're cooking um, and this is very carcinogenic um, absolutely crazy and look I get it with innovation, there has to be some risks involved, of course, because you're always coming up with new ideas and new ways to try to make people's lives better. But a lot of these companies knew that the chemicals that they were using were pretty toxic. But I guess even today you could say the same, but I guess back then um, things were kind of wishy-washy there was no real um, checks and balances on these ca these companies. They just, the bottom dollar, and I mean, like I said, today it's the same shit. A lot of these chemicals are have been banned and not are not being used because people will not buy it. Some people woke up and realized, I don't want the product if it's going to poison me or poison my kids or whatever. What the hell is the point? So, but I think today there's still a lot of things that are very wrong um, with the industries, especially like new innovations, and they don't tell us. Um, another chemical that was uh, used way back when, I guess, uh, was called radium paint, uh, which was used for like the glow, glow in the dark, um, whether it's like hands on a clock or whatever it may be, but to help basically glow in the dark. So if you shine light on this, on this and then um, let show, you know, it'll glow in the dark, basically. But the people who were painting these products, whether it's the clocks or the glow in the dark toys and stuff like that, they weren't told that it was hazardous. Again, another um, terrible uh, decision by evil, greedy people um, who didn't care about people's health, especially not back in the fucking. 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know, and, and beyond. But it, I'm sure the same shit goes on, especially in third world countries. They don't care about the kids. And um, other chemical that you guys may have heard of is DDT. Uh, very prominent post uh, World War II, uh, 50s and 60s. They used it to get rid of lice, they would spray it on everyone. Uh, that they could it was a it was a what you call a pesticide and very dangerous very carcinogenic um, very toxic but they were spraying it all you can look at videos of them spraying it all over people and just like it was no big deal and people just believed it they didn't <laughs> and these health problems wouldn't show up until later which was fucked up um, it's banned, I think, worldwide, but there's like very rare cases that they can use it. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like malaria or something like that. But it's, <sighs> and the scary thing is, there's no odor, there's no taste, there's nothing. It's 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 hard to tell if if that's what's being sprayed, which is very scary. Um, what else? Speaking of chemicals that are very toxic to us um, lead so they used to they used to put lead in uh, gasoline and that's why you would see like unleaded I don't think it's like that anymore I'm pretty sure they've removed the lead because it's just very um, easily absorbed into the air so people can breathe it in and it's yeah it, it's also a carcinogen and extremely toxic <laughs> something else that was 
pretty normal, I guess, way back when was lobotomies. And I'm sure you guys have heard this, heard of this too, where they would mess around with the prefrontal cortex of people's brains who they thought had, you know, mental uh, disorders, mental health problems. And that was their cure. You know, there was shock therapy as well. But this was one of them, I guess, one of the last things that they could try to try and make someone normal, which is unbelievably fucked up. <laughs> to actually think that, you know, chopping up someone's brain around is going to make them feel better or at least change their personality. And I think it did. It just made them more of a couch potato or just, you know, a vegetable. Um, they also used Lysol to do douches rather than cleaning, you know, wood products and things like that as a disinfectant. That is, that really kind of shocked me. Um, playing with mercury from broken thermometers was common uh, with kids way back when because they didn't know that it was fucking toxic to you <laughs> and easily absorbable in the skin. Um, cocaine. Cocaine was, in fact, uh, used in place of caffeine in Coca-Cola, which is unbelievable. <laughs> um, but sugar, I mean, it's almost the same reaction to the brain. Um, what other? Uh, radiation devices used to measure children's feet. Um, I don't know when this was. This was probably like 1940s. Basically, the children would put their shoes on, stick their feet into this machine, um, and it would blast their feet with radiation so that nervous parents could see the children's feet inside the shoes to be sure they fit. Wow. It's like a radi it's like an x-ray to check out the size. That is unbelievable. Wow. And apparently there were high, high doses of radiation. It wasn't like... You know, in order to see through the fucking shoe. Wow. Um, there was also radiation, toothpaste, makeup, hairspray, deodorants, uh, health tonics. They used radiation for a lot of shit on people. And they thought that it was a beneficial health product. Wow. Uh, I mentioned smoking. That was on my list that, you know, they'd have the doctors and the in the fucking lab coats smoking to try and promote it. Oh, um, interesting factoid. During the Wizard of Oz movie, if you've seen it, if you remember the snow uh, scene, <laughs> this was actually asbestos that they used for that scene. And I remember that movie. So these people were just, you know, covered in as asbestos. <laughs> Not to mention that they used it for insulation in houses and apartments, to because it was a, I guess it was a, it was flame retardant, so it wouldn't catch fire, but it was it had a hell of a lot of uh, health implications. Um, heroin was originally sold as a cough medicine by Bayer, uh, way back in like the th 30s or whatever. Um, what else do I have here? Other shit that probably never heard of. Yeah, arsenic, which is a very <laughs> highly toxic chemical, was uh, used to make green dye for clothes. This, this is like 1800, so, you know, all, they did a lot of weird shit back then. And that's my list. I can't think of any other ones here that I may have missed, that I made a, a note of. Unbelievable, huh? <laughs> and I'm sure today there's a lot of a lot of fucking shit that we probably think are safe and we just go along with because the mainstream science and we trust their word and sure it's probably not as like medieval as it used to be, but like Wi Fi for example. How safe do you think wife being around Wi-Fi is all the time, or electric mag electric mag magnetic pulse, or uh, electric magnetic radiation, EMF? Um, it's 
it's definitely affecting people's health. I have a feeling, amongst many other things, that we accept um, in 2025. Now, if you can think of any other things that are absolutely were insane to think that we're safe way back, write in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts about it. I'm trying to think of something that we used to think was okay. Oh, the toxic glue. I can't remember what it was that they, they used to put in the glue in school. And this is back in the 80s and 90s. And then took it out. Ah. Because it, it would make you feel high. Which is why people would sniff glue, right? I don't know if they still have that. But I think they removed the chemical that was in it. I can't remember. Um, but uh, a lot of different things. In markers too, they used to add some sort of chemicals. Because it was the dye. So many things that I can remember that used to be safe and today would be just absolutely frowned upon. Um, even in the U.S., they have certain chemicals that they bake with and make food with that are banned in so many other countries. Um, but the U.S. keeps going. I think it's a brom bromine or something like that that's in uh, for, for the rising of certain cakes and stuff, certain uh, baked goods. But anyways, let me know what you think. Leave a comment of things that were deemed safe, but now are completely insane and dangerous. And as always, thanks for watching. I thought I would do a fun video. And uh, we'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye for now.